Welcome to the first of a two part Thanksgiving edition of the Surf Store Rundown celebrating Turkey Day by doing what we do best, bringing Hollywood home on a budget. Oh yes, the holiday's so nice we'll celebrate it twice. First, with our immediate family, who despite their awkwardness, will be there for you when the rain starts to pour like they've been there before. And secondly, with our other family, a close-knit circle of friends who never fail to lift our spirits when it hasn't been our day, week, month, or even our year. That's a little something we like to call Friendsgiving. And no other sexy sex tent knows that more than these pioneers of Friendsgiving. Joey and Phoebe, your favorite couple, Ross and Rachel. Silence! And my favorite couple, Chandler and Monica. Believe me, for every household in America that has the Thanksgiving Day Parade, the dog show, and NFL football on, there will be at least one other household that has at least two out of three of these components and a Friendsgiving Marathon, either on TBS or on HBO Max or even on DVD if you happen to swing that way. We'll be celebrating Friendsgiving tomorrow. However, if you want to get some practice in before the big day, may I suggest practicing with this. The one with all the recipes. An unofficial cookbook for fans of Friends, cooked up by Teresa Fitty, a native of San Francisco, who now runs a bakery in Atlanta. This Ulysses Press publication was picked up for buck ninety-nine, as you can see here on the bottom. It's not endorsed associated, authorized, or approved by anyone associated with the show, the network, NBC, or the creators and distributors, White Carpet Crane Productions, or Water Brothers Television. Nevertheless, this is Teresa Finney's tribute to the Central Park Games that she and we grew up with at one point or another. I'm going to set up the recipes for this review around a practice Thanksgiving dinner for two or four, for purists and nonconformists alike. Let's get started with Double Date Chicken Wings. This is my all-time favorite homemade food. Unless they're boneless, I won't go near takeout wings, ever. If you've ever been on a double date with your friend where you were scheming to break up the other couple, you'll know these chicken wings will come in handy. That is, as long as the couple aren't related and one of them eats like a weasel. This will yield two servings for the total prep time of 15 minutes and a total cook time of 45 minutes. Up next, break up jam. This sweet strawberry jam would be a nice gift for a friend who just went through a breakup or who is on a break. In happier times, this makes for a delicious movie theater snack. Just bring a little spoon. That will yield at least one and three quarters cups with a prep time of 15 minutes and a cook time of 10 minutes. Up next, a soap opera turkey sandwich. This would be a nice sandwich to have for lunch while you watch one of your best friends make his daytime television acting debut. Dr. Drake Ramore, ladies and gentlemen. That yields one serving. That's a real Joey-sized serving. <laughs> with a prep time of five minutes. Now on to turkey burgers, which should satisfy both the purists and the non-conformists alike. You gotta have turkey somehow on Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving Eve, right? And by the way, we should make that a federal holiday too. Thanksgiving Eve. Hey, Christmas Eve is a federal holiday. Why not Thanksgiving Eve, huh? Anyway, you can make this delicious turkey burger on the stove for a quick weekday meal or on the grill at a fight night apartment balcony cookout. Could this be any more perfect? This will yield four servings for the prep time of five minutes, a cook time of ten minutes, and a chill time, or as some would say a chillax time, of ten minutes. Up next, break up pizza. Make that two if you're like Joey, who's going through numerous breaks. <laughs> if you're going through a breakup or in the midst of a blowout fight, a pizza can be just what you need. You might think anchovy pizza is not your thing, but give this one a try. There aren't any cut up anchovies in the sauce, so if you really need to pick around them, you still can. It won't solve all your relationship problems, but at least you'll be well fed. If you really want to make this a Joey special, there's another pizza recipe in here. And for those who want a little bit more turkey, well, there's a Thanksgiving turkey for one, a la Monica and Joey. <laughs> 
We also have uh, leftover turkey sandwich. Of course, that's Teresa's variation on Ross's ultimate sandwich. Additionally, if you want some other Thanksgiving fixings that are a little more traditional, like sweet potato casserole and Thanksgiving yams, yams and sweet potatoes being one of the same depending on which foodie you talk to, those are in here too. Continuing on with this review, we move on to chocolate mousse. Oh yeah, purists and non-conformists alike will have a very hard time arguing with chocolate mousse. In case your date's dessert water has you in the mood for homemade chocolate mousse, this recipe will satisfy your cravings. You'll probably never get a second date, but at least you get the mousse to yourself. There's a saying for recipes like this, in order to get you Oh, oh, this is not food versus. What am I saying? This will get you off a break. <laughs> Let's put it that way. This yields a serving for the prep time of 15 minutes and a chill time of 2 hours. 2 hours and 15 minutes, so worth it. On your way to getting a lot more than just oh, lots of compliments in the kitchen and maybe in the bedroom. <laughs> This is TSR. We have our bets around here. And finally, pure stand non conformists alike will be quite pleased with this spiced cider. Properly label your cookie fat to save your friend from mistaking it for this delicious spiced cider. Unless drinking a glass of fat is your idea of a great apology, of course. No fat to this one. Ten sweet apples, granulated sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg make this fat with a pea. Speaking of which, I think Teresa Finney is on a PhD in Friendsology. I'll explain as we go through our random pitch walk with this one. This yields 12 servings with a prep time of 5 minutes and a cook time, incredibly, of 3 hours. So what do I mean by saying Teresa Finney has a PhD in Friendsology? Sort of. Well, what you lose by way of cast photos and direct references by episode names you get with good recipes, a decent general amount of French trivia, and good looking photographs for each of these recipes. One photograph per each. So that's an extra bonus. And I gotta say, this is actually a good entryway for those who are looking to have a little taste of what Friends is all about. Besides the food. If you really want to take your friendship with Friends to the next level and make it cookbook official, so to speak, I advise you to check out any one of the three official Friends cookbooks. One of which, the first one, Cooking with Friends, features recipes from America's Test Kitchen's Jack Bishop. Friends at ETK, I hope they update that pairing soon because that is a match made in heaven. But for Friends fans alike, you got engagement wing lasagna, you got onion tartlets, you got chocolate chip cookies that could have had Phoebe's grandmother sued for plagiarism. And you have, thankfully, a Thanksgiving trifle with no meat attached. And floor cheesecake that doesn't come out from the floor. I'm also happy to say that these pages are neat, clean, and are all in order. These pages aren't attached together, so there's no danger of you accidentally making a meat trifle. The kind of Thanksgiving treat that only Joey would love. Oh, that Joey. He's definitely got an ironclad appetite. I gotta tell you something. My friend Tony Lynn, who I've been working with to clear my mental health. <clears throat> she has a crust on Joey the size of the Atlantic Ocean. Could this be any more delicious? You're the ultimate fan of Friends. You've seen every episode multiple times. You get all the inside jokes. You even know how to make that trifle. But with this fun and funny cookbook, you can take your fandom one step further by ripping up incredible entrees inspired by this iconic 1990s sitcom. You know one person who doesn't share food, but you can share yours. This cookbook is packed with delicious recipes that are perfect for you and your friends to enjoy together. Whether it's a going away party when you move to Yemen, a friends giving dinner in your unaffordable NYC apartment, or just having some nibbles during a binge watching party, the one with all the recipes will be there for you with these recipes and the ones I highlighted in this video. This retails for $24.95 in the US. This was originally sold at Marshall's discounted at $16.99 and originally discounted at $22. I picked it up for two. One final note. 
Some of the recipes in here might call for pre-packaged convenience products. For some, that can be an added plus, depending on the quality of the pre-packaged products you choose. I mean, yes, it's Thanksgiving Eve, you're ready to big prep for tomorrow, you might swing this way if you feel a little tired now, but if you feel even more tired tomorrow, then you might not put enough effort into the big Thanksgiving meal. This is no time to be on a break. You gotta bring out your A-game now and reserve some of that A-game for the even bigger game that lies ahead tomorrow. Nevertheless, for those who are looking for a delicious entry into the world of Central Park, this should be there for you. The solid effort. Four out of five claps. There might be a few boo points with this one, but by and large, this ain't too shabby. And like I said, this is just practice for tomorrow's real main event. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be celebrating Friendsgiving. This, compared to this, is a real premium product. I said no, I paid premium for this, and got a lot of cardio in the process. You'll see what I mean if you haven't already tomorrow. But for now, you take care. And at this time, we're going to go on a 23 and a half hour break. Watching TSR. Now, to see another awesome review like this one, click here. If you want to become a Hollywood bargain hunter, click here to subscribe. Now, catch you on the thrift side.